Well, like I say, this guy was raising a ruckus at the bar, and I was busy at the time rearranging his friend's ribcage. So my boss, Barb Wire, the owner of the bar, walks over to the dimwit and tells him to get out or she'll kick him out. Now, Barb's this little blonde number, so the guy makes the fatal mistake of laughing at her. And that's when it happened. What happened, Frank? Quiet, Dorothy. Let him finish. Well, she kicked him out, all right. Kicked him so hard between the legs that he flew straight out that bar and laid it all the way across the street. Nah, come on! Nobody could kick a guy that far. Got better things to do than sit here and listen to such silly exaggerated... Hey, look! That rube's come from the direction of Steel Harbor. And it don't look like he's gonna stop till he hits Arcadia. Wow, she's been working on it. Steel Harbor. Hell. We're still only in Steel Harbor. Every minute we stay in this place, we get weaker. And every minute Charlie Blair spins in Arcadia, he gets stronger. He knows how to build an army, how to defend a city. But his methods have recently become unsound. Which is why the army sent me after him, to terminate his command. To terminate with extreme prejudice. I can't believe they want this man dead. Fourth generation West Point, top of his class, Vietnam, airborne. About a hundred decorations, etc., etc. He had a perfect career, maybe too perfect. All that perfection has very obviously driven him insane. I'm being transported by a civilian named King Tiger, a self styled martial arts expert and mystic. He doesn't know anything about my mission or transmissions. Thanks for charging that to your credit card, Dr. Snyder. I'll see to it that my friend Riki pays you back. So, General Blair was a patient of yours. I treated him briefly, just before his suicide attempt. Naturally, I'm not at liberty to discuss the specifics of his case. Blair's clinical depression was the result of repressed anger, an inner struggle between his id, ego, and superego. He thought he knew better, said it was the world that was crazy, and splintering apart, not him. He talked about the three cities, Steel Harbor as id, Arcadia as Ego, and Golden City as Super. Brilliant theory, really. I was going to write a paper on it before Blair took his header into the vortex. Then he came out with that incredible thing on his face. And now I've got a book. But first, I must go to the most dangerous place in the world. I need to get inside that mask. You two look like you're on an ego trip, but the man isn't seeing any visitors today, so you won't be needing this car. Your journey's over, chumps. There are many paths to enlightenment, my friend, so you would be well advised to stay out of ours. You shouldn't have done that. Now this has become an ego thing. Green is the color of envy, like the man always says, and he ought to know. What are you talking about? Pay no attention to him, King Tiger. He's just a little parrot, chirping for his master. A talking car! No, I've gotta have it. But it's not for sale. I, I don't buy, lady. I take. Then take this. I despise a man who won't haggle. Thank you, Ghost. It's good to see you again. But what is happening here? This waste of good flesh was a follower of the man the street gangs call Ego. They worship him like a god. He came to town about a week ago? And they paint their faces green to resemble his? Yes, I can take you to him, but he's guarded by hundreds of his followers. Egomaniacs, they call themselves. They all need to have their heads examined. That's alright. We're bringing along a psychiatrist. After determining our plan of action, I gradually came to understand, to my horror, that the young woman is dead. It's said that horror has a face, and that you must make a friend of horror. So I do. You're sure we can just waltz in like this? Yes. All the best people shop here. The prices are insane. I'll be the judge of that. Club card members only. They look like a bunch of vegetarians to me. Let's shoot them. It's all right. It's all right. It's all been approved. They think you've come to take him away. I hope that isn't true. The man feels comfortable with his people. He forgets himself with his people. He's expanded my mind. The mind's... A poet sausage maker in the classic sense. Suddenly, he'll grab you and throw you in a corner and say, 
Do you know that am is the middle word in hamburger? If you can keep your head cheese when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, I'm a little meat cutter. He's a great meat cutter. I should have been a pair of ragged bear claws scuttling across silent bakeries. I was just a lowly meat inspector when I met him, with my clipboard, my number two pencil, and my narrow-minded list of possible violations. And do you know what the man said to me? He said, if you ever inspect my meat again, I'm going to chop you into little pieces. And he meant it. Did you say one pound of pickle loaf? One pound with the pickle loaf coming right up. Just in case you were thinking of trying anything, Kato. Well, suffice it to say, this ain't no liverwurst in my hand. Don't even think about it, lady. Good help's too hard to find these days. Get down on the floor, face first. Okay, just don't hurt him. So long, suckers. Well, you did say face first. When I finally come around, I find myself in a slaughterhouse. It smells like slow death, which is about par for the course in a slaughterhouse. Then I realize that I am not alone. Are you an assassin? I, I, I'm a psychiatrist. You're neither. You're an errand boy sent by grocery clerks to collect the bill. But I'm tapped out right now. So maybe we can arrange an easy payment plan of 24 monthly installments. I've come here to relieve you of your command, General Blair. Why? Are my methods unsound? There's madness in your methods, sir. Do you want to hear my dream? I watch a snail crawl along the edge of a straight razor. That's my dream. That's my nightmare. Oh yeah, and I'm naked at the time. They can't find my clothes anywhere. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that is with a body like this? If animals happen to wander in here, isn't it our duty to slaughter them? We must kill them. We must incinerate them. Pig after pig, cow after cow, insurance salesman after insurance salesman. And they call me an assassin. What do you call it when the assassins accuse the assassins? And then those same assassins accuse the other assassins right back. And then the original assassins who accuse the other assassins are accused of being assassins by the assassins who they accused of being assassins. Those doggone nabobs, they really get my goat. The man really likes you. He doesn't share his pet goat with just anyone. He's got something in mind for you. The man is clear in his mind, but his soul is pea soup. He's dying. He reads John Dever lyrics out loud. I mean, what are they going to say about him when he's gone? That he was a kind man? A wise man? The living in? The cat's pajamas? Bull! <laughs> They're going to say that he threw the luau to end all luau's. Cowabunga. Boo, is everything all right, X? I noticed that your costume is slightly bloodier than usual. Stay out of my way, Goose. You've come to kill Ego. Oh, that's right. Me and X, protector of Waterfront. And all that rot. How boring. You forgot what it's like to be alive, Ghost. And fight for something you really care about. Hey, isn't that an assassin? Who are you to call someone an assassin, you assassin? He's not an assassin. You're the assassin for calling someone an assassin just for calling someone else an assassin. I taught them well. They think only of themselves. If I wasn't so self-centered, this would be incredibly rewarding. No one could save you now anyway. You should have heeded the warning I gave you. Don't remind me. I used up 20 drums of tenderizer swabbing your gall darn mark off my nugget. <sighs> but as long as we have to do this thing, I guess we might as well do it in style. Ladies and gentlemen, for your amazement and delight, I will now perform the most dangerous and fantastical feat ever attempted on any stage. With the aid of my lovely assistant, I will separate my body into seven distinct pieces. And then, just when you think you have been dazzled beyond all human reckoning, I will reconstitute myself before your very eyes. Don't count on it, freak. I've never seen a man so broken up 
and ripped apart. Even the army wanted him dead, and that's who he always took his orders from anyway. Where, where am I? What's happened to me? Dr. Snyder, who tied you up? It's me, General Blair. Don't you recognize me? He can't see you. You're a ghost, just like me. What? You mean I'm invisible and immaterial? Like in a cartoon? Disconcerting, ain't it? But you'll get used to it in a century or two. I'm starting to remember now. I did this to myself. I threw my life away. Yeah, well, at least you weren't murdered. But don't let me interrupt your little self-pity party. You men kill me in more ways than one. Murdered? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so rude. But please tell me, is this what it's like to be dead? So cold and empty? How do you stand it? Where do you live? I sleep in a crib. Do you have any other questions? So much anger. That's why you're still here, isn't it? Why we're both still here, poor things. Poor things. Wait! Ta-da! And now, for my grand finale, so to speak, I shall use this ordinary microphone to make myself, this building, and everyone in it disappear completely. And for all time. You see, I have just realized, thanks to a tiny voice inside my head, that I am a terrible menace to mankind. And as such, the only person who has any chance of stopping me is me. And I must be stopped. So... Base Eagle! Base Eagle! Commence Fire Strike! Target 019er! Repeat, commence Fire Strike! Target 019er! Oh my god! That's an active military alert code! Within minutes, this entire place will be reduced to ashes! Oh, nothing could be finer than to napalm a 19er in the morning! Hold still, I'll cut you loose, King Tiger! Don't worry, Dr. Snyder. I'll get you out of here! Hurry! I can hear the helicopters in the distance already! Nothing could be sweeter than to sizzle like fajitas in the morning! Everybody! Hey! Don't mess with me, man! I've gotta get this cold cut platter into the luau before all hell breaks! No, not the sewer! What's that? Music? It's Arcadian rhythms! Really scares the bejesus out of natives! Did you hear about what happened in Arcadia last week? Yeah, just like Steel Harbor the week before. If that green-faced turd came to Golden City, he wouldn't last a day. That's for sure. Grace would kick his butt so fast he'd be begging for mercy. Greetings, tiny mortals. With my telescopic hearing, I overheard your derogatory comments about my person. But rest assured that I have long since transcended the human plane and now possess the power to rise above such picayune provocation. My name is unpronounceable to your fleshy tongues, but you may address me henceforth as the hero formerly known as Super Ego. So take me to this Grace Wuss, so I can wipe the floor with her. Oh. <laughs>